So tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be married and have a hundred kids so I can have a hundred friends and no one can say no to being my friend. I am crying and nobody can hear me because I am terribly, terribly, terribly alone. His entire emotional self-worth was tied up in the office, even though there was very little evidence that they thought of him as a family member, he thought of them as his best friends and family members. No, Carol, you walk out that door and it is over. Does this feel good? Does what feel good? Your life. <laughs> oh, wow. He was desperately trying to avoid thinking of the fact that he was lonely and he was in his 40s and, you know, the, the life he wanted wasn't happening for him. So this is like, you know, and he's desperately trying to avoid ever thinking about that. I need help because I want to play ball with my kids before I get too old. And before that happens, I need to get laid. And before that happens, I need to be in love. Well, I'm going through a little bit of a rough patch. A whole year, actually. To put a positive spin on why is he doing some of the weird things that he's doing? Why is he, you know, being so intrusive with all of the other people in the office? Well, a positive spin on it is he's lonely and these are his family and, and they all have other lives outside the office. So they, they're not seeing it the same way he sees it. Jim and I have different definitions of friendship. I think it's talking and being friends, and Jim thinks it's moving to Connecticut and being best friends with Josh. Well, you know, sometimes to get perspective, I like to think about a spaceman on a star incredibly far away, and our problems don't matter to him because we're just a distant point of light. But he feels sorry for me. I think Michael's a decent, a a decent dude. With, with a lot of heart, but he's so, based on his childhood, based on all sorts of things, and things that he had lacked growing up, things that he was, I felt he was deprived of, he was so hungry for acceptance. I'm okay. So I'm not. <laughs> 